Restoring history in the city of Tyler, the iconic Mayfair building has reopened to the community after undergoing extensive renovations. KETK's Ashlyn Anderson was there for today's big reveal. She's here now to give us that long awaited look inside. Ashlyn. Casey, the city has transformed the dance hall into a state of the art venue, but also stayed true to its nearly century old roots with relics of the past found throughout the building. Take a look. Music fills the Mayfair building once again. I wish you could have seen this building a year ago. The floor was sunk in, there were termites everywhere. You could see, you could see daylight from inside. You could see the sun with the holes in the roof. So uh, we have brought this back to life. The heart nestled in the city of Tyler for almost 100 years is now open again to the community, bringing back memories for people like Robin Hood Bryans and his time on stage. I played here with the Big Bopper uh, just a few days before he went on tour with uh, Buddy Holly and crashed in that airplane. So it was a very very emotional situation for me. City leaders worked hard to preserve pieces of the old building, the original wood floors, windows, and the dressing room used by the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. So you hear these stories of people that, that had history here, that talked about their families playing here, and then you think about the people like Dolly Parton. She played here in 1972. <laughs> Hood says he's excited to see people hit the dance floor just like the good old days. This Mayfair building has, it could tell stories that, uh, that would curl your hair. A place he thought would never survive the test of time is now on the National Register of Historic Places. 1927 to 2024. Magical. The Mayfair building will be open for booking starting this summer. This is a culmination of the Phase 1 Rose Complex Master Plan. Next, the city says will be the Rose Garden facility. In Studio Ashlyn Anderson, K2K News.